Hey everyone, I am Zueb Khan and I am a front-end engineer. In my previous video, we built up a nice card view layout with Tailwind CSS and Angular. Today, we will continue with that and convert it into a responsive card grid all without writing a single line of CSS. If I show you right now, you will see that if we reduce the screen size, the cards will reduce in number and it will continue to do so until we have the mobile size and then it will grow again if we increase the uh, screen width. Great! So let's get started then. First, we will create a TypeScript interface for our blog post card. This will help us visualize our data items and provide a structure to our card. So let's create a blog post card model file here. and add an interface here with the name blog post card. Now we already have uh, added some items before. So let's copy them in. Next we'll create a card component with ng-generate component card. And we'll shift our card component layout to our new component. Okay. One small change we'll make here is to remove the explicit widths that we had set. Because in a grid, we want the widths to be set automatically by the grid itself. We'll add an input of data to our card with the type that we've already defined that is blog post card. Next, we'll add references to the input data in our template instead of the hard-coded data. The data now will be sent to the card from our main component. source and the author name and the author and the post date. Great, so we have our card component now all set up. Now let's define the data items for our card grid. Let's declare a post array in our main component with the data that we already had. I've also added some more data with some similarities and different images so we can have a more realistic grid. copy this in and okay with all of our data now set up let's get on to actually building the grid let's go to our app.component.html file so we'll first create a card component for each of the posts with the ng4 directive let post of posts and then we'll give an input to the data input as post. And as you can see, we have the cards showing fine, but they look like a list. So let's create a containing div. and move the card inside of it. Next we are going to add a grid class name and the grid column specifier. We are going to keep it as 3 for now. And yes we have a grid. Of course we need a spacing here. So let's add a padding of uh, 8 which is about 32 pixels and then we'll also add a gap uh, of the same amount. Great, this looks good. Okay, so now what do we want to do to create a responsive grid is to specify the columns for each of the breakpoints. Let's do that now. So uh, for the smallest 
a breakpoint which is SM we are going to specify the column as 1 because that would be on the mobile then we have our medium size and we'll have the grid columns as 2 and we have uh, the large uh, size and we'll have the grid columns as 3 and also to top it off I think we can also add Excel to it with the grid columns as 4 okay let's test this out okay so now since it's medium it's gone, gone on to show only two columns as we increase it it will go to three columns and if you reduce it right down to the mobile view it will be one column only and if we increase it to a big uh, screen width it's going to be four columns Great, so as you can see, we have ourselves a responsive card created for Tailwind CSS without much work. Okay, lastly, uh, to give a finishing touch, we'll add a small hover animation to our cards so they become a bit more interactive. So we'll go into our code again, and now for our card, for each of our cards, we're going to give a transition and we want to give a transition of transform now since we are transforming we need to specify that we are transforming as well and then we are going to give a hover style of scale uh, the lowest scale that we could give okay let's see how this looks okay that's good the cursor pointer is missing so we are going to uh, make we're going to add the cursor pointer here Now we have our cursor pointer here indicating to the user that yes it can be clicked. The last thing that we need to do I think is to make the duration a bit longer so that it's a bit smoother animation and make the animation as ease in and out. Great. So now it's a smoother animation and it looks good. So you can see how simple and quick it can be to build great looking layouts with Tailwind CSS and Angular. I hope you liked this video and if you did be sure to subscribe to get notified of future videos. Thanks for watching.